In the 19th century, Nikola Tesla demonstrated wireless control technology for devices for the very first time. He controlled a toy boat using only radio waves. The crowd was witnessing something like this for the first time. They thought Tesla was controlling the boat using magic or telepathy. An advanced version of this technology is something we all use in our daily lives. Welcome to a design journey in which we will understand Nikola Tesla's cool and tricky inventions in a simple way. This is the most important controlling part of Nikola Tesla's toy boat, the rudder. When the rudder is at an angle, a lift force will be produced on it and the boat will turn due to the torque produced. If the angle of the rudder changes, the boat will be able to turn in different directions. Tesla was able to achieve three different angles for his boat's rudder, zero degree, plus 45 degrees, and minus 45 degrees. The rudder didn't have any other angles in between. How did he achieve these three distinct angles using a mechanism? The mechanism Tesla developed for the rudder movement consists of a DC motor and gears. The motor turns the rudder, here. You might think this worm drive arrangement is for speed reduction, and you're right. However, Tesla had another major use for it. He wanted the rudder to stay wherever it was when the motor wasn't powered. He didn't want the rudder to change its angle due to water force acting on it. That's the speciality of the worm drive mechanism. The worm screw can drive the spur gear, but the spur gear movement will not rotate the worm screw. In short, this worm drive blocks any possible rudder movement due to water force. Sheer genius, right? Here, the motor turns the rudder, but this mechanism rotates the rudder entirely 360 degrees. We just want the rudder to rotate 45 degrees. After reaching that angle, it should stop rotating. The solution is simple. Stop the motor once the rudder reaches this angle. To achieve this solution automatically, Tesla inserted a uniquely designed set of conducting brushes and contact plates in the circuit. You can see the contact plate will rotate along with the rudder. This interesting circuit will be closed or conduct electricity exactly for 45 degrees. When the rudder reaches a 45 degree angle, the circuit gets disconnected and the rudder's rotation stops at 45 degrees. The rudder will maintain this angle for the rest of the boat's operation. Usually, an electric motor controls a mechanism, but in Tesla's ingenious design, the mechanism controls the electric motor. Now, the question is, how do you rotate the rudder back to a zero-degree angle position? Simply rotate the motor in the reverse direction. You can see that to generate the magnetic field needed for the motor, a coil is connected in the same circuit. If we reverse the direction of this magnetic field, the motor will turn in the opposite direction. To reverse the direction of magnetic field lines, Tesla introduced another independent field coil, brush, and contact plate set in the circuit. To easily distinguish between the two field coil sets, let's give them different colors. Here, the field coil of the red set is wound in the opposite direction. So if powered, it will produce a magnetic field in the opposite direction and the motor will turn opposite. Now the only question is, how do you power the red field coil set? This is the reason why Nikola Tesla used a unique drum in the circuit. This drum is a collection of two independent metal pieces. Its angle will decide which field coil set will be powered. You can see the current has to flow through a contact brush near the drum. At this angle, the field coil of the red set will be powered. If the drum turns 180 degrees, the yellow set will be powered. As we saw earlier, during the rudder's rotation, the yellow brush loses contact with the yellow contact plate, and the circuit gets disconnected. Now we want the red field coil to be activated. Here's where Nikola Tesla's remote control comes in. His device produced electromagnetic pulses such that one pulse made the drum turn by 90 degrees. We will see how he achieved a mechanical movement from an electromagnetic pulse toward the end of this video. Anyway, in this case, Tesla sends two pulses.
The drum turns 180 degrees and the red set gets activated. You can see that the rudder will turn for 90 degrees in the opposite direction before the red brush gets disconnected, or the rudder will reach an angle of minus 45 degrees. What if Tesla wants to stop the rudder at zero degree? Can you suggest a solution for this scenario? Here is the simple trick. When the rudder reaches a zero degree angle, send just one pulse. The drum will turn 90 degrees. No coil sets will be activated since both the red and yellow parts of the drum are not touching the brush. In short, the rudder will stop its motion at zero degrees. This way, Tesla was able to achieve all the three angles at will. The drum mechanism is the heart of his invention. Now the big question, how is the radio pulse able to turn the drum? Well, a tightened spiral spring was connected to the drum. Due to this tightened spring, if the drum's motion is not arrested, the drum will rotate automatically, as shown. These pins and anchor lock the tightened drum in position. Clearly, if the anchor moves slightly up, the drum automatically turns a perfect 90 degrees. Now, the question is about how to move the anchor up when Tesla sends an electromagnetic pulse. The monopole antenna of his boat converted the incoming radio pulse into a small EMF. This small EMF can activate a relay. This relay can close the circuit of a second relay, which eventually will move the anchor slightly up and the drum turns. This is truly a brilliant mechanism to rotate the drum exactly 90 degrees with just a radio wave pulse, right? You might have noticed in this video that just by turning a lever, Nikola Tesla was able to send radio pulses. When he turned this lever, a circuit for the antenna gets connected, and this circuit contains an inductor, capacitor, and battery. The capacitor in the circuit will get charged and go for an LC oscillation. This alternating charge flow or voltage is sufficient to activate the antenna, and the antenna will emit the stored energy of the capacitor as radio waves. It took more than 50 years after Tesla's demonstration for commercial remote-controlled television units or toy cars to hit the market. The reason? No investor took Nikola Tesla's RC boat technology seriously. Of course, Tesla's RC boat was way ahead of its time. See you in the next video. Before you leave, don't forget to be a part of the Lessex team. Thank you.